The Texas Medical Association is sounding an alarm, stating that two-thirds of Texas physicians may not accept new Medicare patients beginning next year, all due to a cut in funding. Maggie Glenn reports on the impacts the cut could have on health care here in Texas. Texas Medical Association President Dr. Linda Villarreal has been serving Medicare patients for 33 years. She says her patients are nervous about Congress slashing Medicare provider reimbursements by 10 percent on January 1st. I have patients who know me, feel comfortable with me, and are fearful of having to go out there and find someone to take their Medicare card. A TMA survey found that 62 percent of Texas physicians say the cut would strain their current business model and prevent them from taking on new Medicare patients. This could end up overwhelming our health care system since those on Medicare are seniors and those with disabilities. The only way to take care of them is to do preventive medicine and wellness. If they cannot do those well, well visits, they're going to get sick. If they're going to get sick, they're going to go to the emergency room. Representative Lloyd Doggett says in the past, cuts like this have been much smaller, averaging around 2 percent. This is a culmination of several reductions that have been delayed over time. We postponed it during the pandemic. It's part of a longer term bipartisan effort to deal with the budget deficit. He says the impact the association is projecting might be overstated. Like anyone else uh, who faces the possibility of a pay cut, there's just a natural resistance to any change. But Doggett hopes lawmakers on both sides of the aisle will work to prevent the cuts before the new year. We have had good cooperation in the past. Unfortunately, uh, as you know, uh, the division here is uh, severe at present. Maggie Glenn, KXAN News. Now, one thing to keep in mind, because of the existing pay structure for Medicare, Physicians accepting that coverage have not received a pay increase in 20 years.